All right, I got a good signal here. It's uh, low 90s. And I managed to be on it with a pointer here, so I'm gonna see if I can get this out and get it is. I'm gonna put this down for a sec. I've found a couple Indians so far. Um, so of course I'm hoping this is gonna be a silver quarter. It may well be a clad quarter, but based on what I've found thus far, I think there's a good chance this might be a silver. Let's see what we got here. What in the world is that? Holy smokes. <laughs> is that a copper? Oh my god, I think that's a massive copper. Wow. Okay. Holy smokes. Only copper I've ever seen this big. Oh, no, yeah, that's exactly what it is. That's so funny, I was about to say that. <laughs> this is actually the first copper that George ever found. Uh, I had to rack my brain now and think what it is. It's South American. Um, Uruguay, maybe? Uh, and the 40 is, I can't remember if it's centesimos or centimos. But it was against, I was going to say, the only other copper I've ever seen that big, that was the one. And here it is again. Wow. Cool find. <laughs> well, this was, uh, there were some ship's captains in this family. And um, uh, so they got around the world a bit. Maybe one of them brought it back. This is my first hunt at this site. And um, first first coin was an Indian and uh, found several more Indians and I'm just really starting to get going here so that's a great way to start cool all right keep you posted all right just got my first nice silver in a while this thing was deep this was pushing the uh, boundaries of the AT. It's actually in really nice shape. 1925. I knew there was going to be some silver in this lawn when my first couple finds were Indians. It's great. I haven't seen a uh, Standing Liberty in quite a while. I can never remember which one of these is the early one with the stars. Stars or no stars, but I'm going to leave that one alone for now and clean it up a little bit later. Nice to see some silver. That's awesome. Alright, well I've just made another find and it's gold this time. And it's a really pretty little gold ring. It's so small that I would have to assume it's a child's ring, and actually there's something kind of strange about that too. The only other time I found a gold ring this small, it was in the front yard of the house where I grew up. And it was right in between the three maple trees in the front yard. The house where I currently am is about the same age as the house where I grew up. And here's the stump of the maple tree. And I'm right in between the three maple trees in the front yard. So it's a little bit of an odd coincidence. Which makes me wonder if there was like <laughs> some practice of burying child's rings in the front yard for good luck or something. That's probably not the case, but it's a major coincidence. Um, I mean, you can see the size of this ring. There's no way it would fit on my finger. Um, well... This is uh, turning into a pretty nice little yard hunt. All right, I just switched over to the T2 and it looks like I got the first copper of the day. Sure can't complain about this hunt so far. Now, I've just been kind of dubbing around too. I haven't really been going at it with any kind of uh, patterned 
a gridded approach with trying here and there since it's my first hunt. So I feel like I'm um, probably going to do pretty well here. Can't tell what that is. We'll have to can give it one rub. Little detail in there, but I still can't really make it out, so keep you posted on that one. Light's going down, so I'm probably going to wrap it up here pretty soon, but uh, here's where we're at so far. Uh, 1857 Uruguay copper, some sort of large scent or British copper. Uh, 1925 standing, three different Indians here, late 1800s, couple wheats, and this is actually a button. And um, garter clasp and kind of a basic... Um, Copper bracelet of some sort. I'm not sure about that piece. And the little gold ring. So I'm going to try to dig a couple more targets here. I'll let you know if there's anything to add.